So the Sheriff's Office has been coordinating throughout the entire night with all of our responding agencies. Coast Guard has done a search uh, for the last missing victim that we have out there. Uh, the uh, critical stages of all the victims have been transported to the, to the hospital or varied. Uh, we have been able to board the uh, rig uh, just this morning. Uh, there is a, about a two inch valve uh, pipe, natural gas pipe that is still burning off residual gas. Uh, it is not a live feed. Uh, it's very low pressure that is uh, coming from that. Uh, does not appear to be any environmental concern at this point in time. Obviously, we have uh, those different agencies that will monitor that. Uh, the contractor from the owner of the rigs are out here in order to place booms when the, the waves uh, allow. Right now, we currently are seeing about four to five foot rollers in the, uh, in the lake, but we've been able to coordinate with our safe boats of the Sheriff's Office to get the appropriate contractors out there to the rig. Uh, so uh, we, we are fairly confident there is an eight person. Uh, the Coast Guard has made contact with that person's family already. Uh, so they are notified uh, that we have a current search and rescue mission going. What else can you tell us about that, that eight person? You know, I don't know what part of their family has been notified or not notified at this point. Uh, you know, we have we have got out. Uh, they know that we have a search and rescue mission. You know, this is obviously early, and and they their family needs the time to to grieve, and hopefully we'll be able to find them. Are you